Hey guys, it's Chris. From the man who saved the president's life and paid the price to an ordinary fella arrested for saving a dog from a burning building. Here are 10 people who were punished for helping others who even knew this could happen. Number 10, the presidential savior. Oliver Sippel saved the president's life. It happened on an early morning in September 1975, when Oliver decided to go for a walk around his neighborhood in San Francisco. Suddenly, he found himself confronting a deranged female assassin trying to kill the United States President Gerald Ford. Ford had just attended a conference at the St. Francis Hotel, and there was a massive crowd greeting him at the event. Oliver was moving through the crowd when he saw a woman pull out a 38 caliber pistol. Thinking fast, Oliver knocked the pistol out of the woman's hand. She pulled the trigger, and the bullet ricocheted into the crowd, grazing the side of a taxi driver but not seriously injuring him. As you can imagine, Oliver was heralded as a hero. But here's where everything went wrong for Oliver. The newspaper did some digging on his background while they were covering the story. That was when the media learned that Oliver was gay and they outed him publicly to the entire nation without his permission. Keep in mind, this was 1975, and people were completely close-minded. News that the man who saved the president's life was gay completely freaked the public out. Plus, Oliver's family had no idea he was gay. Basically, Oliver's life was ruined. His father no longer wanted anything to do with him. He wasn't allowed at his mother's funeral, and Oliver ended up suing seven newspapers and 50 different publishing executives. Of course, the lawsuit was eventually dismissed by the California Supreme Court, and Oliver had to spend the rest of his life as a social pariah, even though he had saved the president. He drank himself to death in 1989 and was found dead in his apartment. Number 9. The Fired Lifeguard a lifeguard who briefly abandoned his post at a Florida beach to save a man from drowning has now been fired. His name was Thomas Lopez, and he was patrolling Hallandale Beach in Miami when somebody told him that a swimmer was in deep trouble in a part of the beach that was unsupervised. Lopez had been a lifeguard for only four months when this happened. Upon hearing the concerns, he left his post and ran to help the swimmer who had already been pulled out of the water by other people at the beach. Lopez and an off-duty nurse helped take care of the man until paramedics arrived to whisk him away to the hospital. However, after Lopez literally did his job by saving the swimmer, he was fired by his company. The company told the South Florida Sun Sentinel that it was because of liability issues that they needed to fire him. They claimed that a lifeguard is not allowed to leave the protected area as it could endanger other people. Of course, this is complete nonsense and not fair at all, and at least two of Lopez's colleagues resigned in protest of his firing. Number 8. Jail for Feeding the Homeless A 90-year-old man in Fort Lauderdale recently faced jail time all because he wanted to feed the homeless. This guy was charged with violating a new order restricting public feeding of homeless people. And let's all just let that sink in for a minute. There is a literal ordinance in Fort Lauderdale that has made it illegal for ordinary people to feed the homeless. This isn't a zoo, this is society, these are people. And yet homeless people are being treated like apes in cages. But in any case, the whole deal is that local residents and businesses don't want their neighborhoods to become overburdened by the homeless. And so they've tried to stop people from feeding them. But Arnold Abbott and two other ministers from South Florida went ahead and did a street feeding program anyway, handing out food to the homeless people in the area. Arnold and his companions then faced up to 60 days in jail and fines of up to $500. But despite this insane fine for just trying to be a good human being, Arnold went back to the public park and did it again. Arnold was a veteran of World War II, a civil rights activist, and just a decade away from being 100 years old. He had been feeding the homeless for over 20 years and had absolutely no plans to stop. Good for him. Can you imagine getting punished for just doing a good deed? Has anything like this ever happened to you? Let us know in the comments below. And remember to subscribe to Worldlist if you're new here for more videos like this one. Number 7. Sued for being a hero In March of 2013, a man named Michael Turner saved a young girl after she was stabbed inside of a Pittsburgh Target. It all happened when a homeless man attacked a 16-year-old girl named Allison Meadows, seemingly for absolutely no reason at all. But wait, the incident actually started before that. The homeless man, named Leon Walls, stabbed a man at a construction site and then ran down the street to get away. 
but Michael Turner was in hot pursuit, as he had witnessed the entire stabbing and phoned the police and was trying to catch the criminal. The homeless man ran into the Target store and for literally no reason began trying to stab everyone in sight. And poor Allison Meadows happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. The homeless man stabbed Allison in the back, and that was when Michael Turner jumped into action grabbing a baseball bat and beating the homeless man off of her. It was a marvelous show of bravery, and his fast thinking likely saved the girl's life. However, Target did not feel the same way about the situation. In 2015, Target decided to sue Michael Turner, claiming that the girl wouldn't have been stabbed had he not chased the vagrant into the store. Of course, that's complete nonsense. He was just doing the right thing. The case went to court in 2016, and an undisclosed deal was reached between the parties, according to CBS Local News. Number 6. Fired for Caring A teacher was recently fired by the Hesperia Unified School District for supporting her LGBT students, after they had complained about how the district was treating the Gay Straight Alliance Club at the local high school where she taught. This went down in 2012, when Julia Frost helped members of the LGBT club fight back against a clear pattern of discrimination against the gay students at the high school. However, after Juliet Frost became vocal and really tried to help these students out, those at the top of the board with all the power told her that her contract would not be renewed for the following year. It's a really nice way of telling a teacher that they're fired, but this story actually has a much better ending than some of the others. After being fired for caring about her ridiculed students, Julia Frost, who by the way was gay herself, sued the California Unified School District under the provision of the Fair Employment and Housing Act and Education Code, and she actually won the case. She ended up getting $850,000 in a lawsuit settlement according to American School and University magazine. Sometimes it definitely pays to be vocal about your cause, even if at first glance you get punished for your belief in helping others. Number 5. The Dog Savior In West Memphis back in 2003, a man named Jared Martin watched his apartment building burn from the parking lot while his dog cried out for help from inside the towering inferno. The fire department was there, and they assured Jared that they would save the dog, but they didn't seem to be doing really anything about it. And as anyone who owns a dog will understand, you can't just sit by while your dog is being engulfed in flames. So Jared climbed the balcony into his second-story apartment, broke through the door, and saved his own dog's life. This was an extremely compassionate act from Jared, and he subsequently paid the price. Jared had already been warned by police that he was not to enter the building. So after he entered the building and saved his dog, he was swiftly arrested. Jared faced two misdemeanor charges, one for disorderly conduct and the other for reckless endangerment. And of course, you do kind of have to see things from both sides here. Had Jared gotten trapped inside the burning building, it would have taken more firefighters risking their lives to save him. But on the other hand, it's not really anybody's business when a man tries to save his own dog from a burning building. But in any case, the important thing here is that the dog did survive. Number 4. North Korea Madness in a shocking and frankly disappointing story out of North Korea, a mother recently faced the possibility of jail time after she saved her two children from a burning house. According to the report from the Daily Mail, the woman has since been placed under investigation by North Korea's Ministry of State Security. It happened when a fire broke out in a home that was shared by the woman and her children and another family. Both pairs of parents were outside at the time that the fire started. After spotting the smoke, they raced back to their home to save their children. But here's where things get totally out of control. Every home in North Korea must display paintings of the past leaders, Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il. These paintings must be cared for with the same reverence as the men in them. There are even inspectors that are sent around to make sure people are taking proper care of the photographs of their revered leaders. In the case of the fire, the mother ran into her house and saved her children but neglected to save the portraits of the dictators. You can probably see where this is going now. The woman got in serious trouble for saving her children instead of a couple paintings that are literally worthless. She could be sentenced to a long bid in prison complete with hard labor. As of the time the story was published, she was forbidden from visiting her children in the hospital. Her children were not allowed to obtain antibiotics for the burns which they had suffered in the fire, and nobody will stand up for the woman because they're afraid that they too will be sent to prison. Number 3. Suing the Hospital in May, Edward Winter's life was saved by a nurse at the St. Francis St. George Hospital when she revived him through electric shock. 
If not for the nurse's quick actions, Edward would have died of a heart attack. Unfortunately for Edward, he didn't really want to continue living. Just a few months before his nearly fatal heart attack, his wife of 55 years died after suffering serious brain damage caused by a shock resuscitation of her own during a heart attack that she had suffered. Well, guess what? Two days after Edward was revived at the hospital, he suffered a horrible stroke. Now he's partially paralyzed, stuck in his bed in a miserable nursing home and spending most of his days crying in despair. Eventually, Edward decided that he would sue the hospital for wrongfully saving his life, since now he's in a worse position than he was ever in before. He claims that he could have died in dignity, but now he's drooling and paralyzed in a nursing home bed. To make matters even worse for Edward, the nurses say he could live in that state for years. Plus, the care and medical bills have stacked up to around $100,000, which basically depleted his life savings. According to Edward's attorney, and I quote, there are in fact some things worse than death, and what has happened to Mr. Winter is one of them. But of course, you can't just sue a hospital for doing its job. That poor nurse was really just trying to save Edward's life. It's really not her fault he's so miserable. Number two, the ultimate sacrifice. Sometimes someone pays the ultimate price for their bravery and selflessness. A man recently died after he jumped into a California river to rescue three children who'd gotten swept away in a violent current. Two girls and one boy, all of them under 11 years old, were playing in the King's River when they got pulled under a bridge by the strong, rushing current. According to the Reedy Police Department, Manjeet Singh was standing on the riverbank when he saw what was happening and decided to jump in. Manjeet didn't even know the children, but he tried to save them anyway. Unfortunately for Manjeet, he didn't prove very helpful. He got pulled under the water and was found 40 minutes later dead. However, other bystanders were able to get the children out of the water, saving both little girls and the young boy. In the end, Manjeet sacrificed his own life for the greater good, and there's really nothing more noble than that, even if it ended up being totally useless. Number 1. Helping out a neighbor When a black man in Maryland tried to help out his neighbor, he got arrested for it. This happened in Silver Spring, when Samir Ahmed helped his neighbor to get home when he was drunk and falling down. Samir took it upon himself to go out and walk his neighbor back to his home. And for some reason or another, the police arrived on the scene shortly after. Samir explained to the authorities that he had already walked the man home, and that the situation was already resolved, but they weren't having any of it. Apparently, one of the officers smelled marijuana coming from Samir and decided to arrest the man basically on his front lawn while his family and neighbors watched in horror. The officers apparently thought that Samir was intoxicated even though he wasn't. And because he was so outraged at being arrested for literally no reason, he ended up being charged with resisting arrest, failure to obey, obstructing and hindering and even disorderly conduct, all according to the report from the Baltimore Sun. In the end, Samir suffered all those charges and was humiliated publicly, all because he walked out of his house and helped his drunk neighbor to get home safely. Thanks for watching. Have you ever gotten in trouble for helping someone out? Let me know in the comments and be sure to hit the subscribe button and come back soon for more amazing videos.